Uh, before I begin, I really wish I had Lindsay Pitchbeck's accent. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think most of us did. Me too. <laughs> So, uh, proficiency based learning and advocacy story, uh, advocacy story. I went to my first national conference fresh out of college in 1988 in Indianapolis, Indiana. And back in 88, MENC's big push, the big need in our schools was for advocacy. Why is it 25 years later we asked our teacher leaders for Mali, what do we need to make sure we're including as we move forward? And they said, oh, we really need advocacy. Why is that? And I have a theory around that, and it ties into this workshop. So we know our schools consist of these two circles. They're designed that way, they're built that way for a purpose. We know the academic agenda is very real, that's why we have teacher contracts. And we serve the academic needs of our students, however, we also know that this other piece, the circle to the right, we know how important that is. We of all people know how important that is. We want to reach students as real people. We want to deal with them on a different level. And that's how we can reach them. That's how we know we access them. The problem is this. Our public, our students, and our administrators largely perceive us as being in that circle, right along with athletics and clubs. Now, that's not to say we don't belong there. We, we totally do. There are before school programs, after school programs, evening programs that we provide for our students that are really important and arguably essential for all kids. So we're not talking about whether it should be there or not. The problem is that's where we are put by people who don't know what we do. Right? That's, that's their focus. And so how do we cross over to that? We know that we comprise both. That's what we are about. We are not talking about losing the right circle. We're talking about being incorporated into the right circle along with the other academic subjects. If we aren't there, what are our teaching contracts representing? I'm not under a full-time contract to teach co-curricular activities, and neither are you. So how do we get there? And the answer is right there. In 1988, I was hearing a lot of things about the arts and music, about how they serve kids in so many amazing ways. Creativity, we know the, uh, their ability to explore new venues and, and all these things. And it's true in all the arts, it's, in, it's true in other things as well. I didn't hear a lot of talk about how we're academic. And when, when our administrators talk about, you're really important, but you're not as essential as the other academic areas. Dan, you were saying that you have a name tag other. How many of us in this room sometimes feel like we have a name tag on in our school saying other? Yeah. That's why. That's my commitment to my students is to make sure we're in that circle. So if that's going to be the case, Everyone over the age of 40 is laughing, smiling, giggling. Everyone under the age of 40 is saying, what are they laughing at? <laughs> this was a Wendy's uh, slogan in the 1980s, uh, saying how all the burger places, well, they look really impressive, they sound really impressive, but where's the beef? <laughs> and I wish I could do that with Lindsay's accent, too. <laughs> What are we doing in our schools to provide that left circle? To me, that's the advocacy piece we have been missing. Because the moment we are perceived in being in that left circle, we are academic, then we're talking about the same language. Our administrators are looking at us that way. Our public is looking at us that way more than just, I attended your concerts in June more than, wow, that's great artwork your students are doing. It has to be more than that, and we're not going to get to that 
combination of both circles until we spend more time on this. So my session today is going to be basically diving into how can we use proficiency as an advocacy tool in our schools, but more to the point, how can we get at proficiency in a meaningful way? We have to be doing more than just saying we're important. We have to be showing how are we academic, and the moment we get there, amazing things can happen. It's not proficiency because the state mandates it, or because eggs are rattling. <laughs> Talking more than that, we'll be talking about I that. I want to hear more. <laughs> Me too. <Yeah. laughs>